Hey guys, going on Nivens here. Time for your weekly rock wind up. Well, as of this filming, uh, the, probably the biggest shock, uh, death. I, I don't know. Just we get we, we get shocked by death, but then again, we you know it, sometimes it's it's inevitable. Like guys like Lemmy when he passed, I don't think really shocked a lot of us. But Prince at 57 uh, shocked quite a few people. Um, again, as of this uh, filming, no word on what the cause of death is, but we do know that he was found. Um, uh, resting in peace in this estate up in uh, Minneapolis. And continuing on with your weekly rock windup, uh, I guess the big news is the confirmation of the worst kept secret in rock and roll, and that is that Axl Rose will be fronting for ACDC for the 10 remaining shows that they have to reschedule in the States, as well as the European run for the Rock or Bust tour. Now, what will this mean for the future of ACDC? No real word on that yet. Uh, I know Brian Johnson has spoke out a little bit about this. I think that he would like to still be able to get into studio and work on new stuff. But in terms of touring, obviously that's not going to be a possibility. Uh, but again, how ACDC will move forward, no idea. People wonder if this will throw any, any sort of wrench in their plans for the Guns N' Roses Not In This Lifetime reunion show. Uh, as of now, no, they are still planning on being at Arrowhead June 29th. Well, about a week or two ago, a gentleman named Ronald Savage, 50 years old, out of the Bronx, alleged that Africa Bombada, of course, one of the pioneers of hip-hop, uh, basically sexually assaulted him. Uh, in response to that, uh, Africa said, these allegations are baseless and a cowardly attempt to tarnish my reputation and legacy in hip-hop at this time. Well, uh, according to the New York Daily News, three more men have come forward. Now, these uh, allegations, uh, I guess, would have happened something around 25, 30 years ago. Uh, New York, I guess, law, the reason why Mr. Savage came forward is because he wants to change the law. If somebody is uh, sexually assaulted, they have to report it and take it to court within X amount of time, and he like to make that basically a timeless situation. So uh, as this is an ongoing development, and as more of it sort of comes to light, I'll make sure to let you know. And a final news story, if you will, something a little lighthearted. Uh, even though Jack White currently isn't out on tour or doing much of anything, he has teamed up with the uh, Detroit Tigers second baseman, Ian Kinsler, and they are partners in an, a brand new sporting goods company where they're making baseball bats. I mean, why not? Jack White used to, of course, do furniture, then he made records, now it's baseball bats. But I don't know, part of me kind of wants to get a third man baseball bat just, in, just to have a baseball bat. Why not, right? And to close out your weekly rock wind up with just a few announcements. Speaking of Detroit, uh, Louder Than Love, the Grande Ballroom story uh, about um, uh, uh, so many great performers in this uh, legendary uh, Detroit music hall will be out on home video June 10th. Uh, spoke about Guns N' Roses earlier. Bassist Duff McKagan's going to release his documentary about his life, It's So Easy and Other Lies, live at the Moor. That will be out uh, June 3rd. Same day, right? Yeah, how about that? And a uh, new photo surfaced of Rob Halford from Judas Effing Priest, excuse me, Judas F***ing Priest. They're back in studio working on their new album follow-up, of course, to Redeemer of Souls. So, and that's it. I'm Nivens. Thank you very much for tuning in to your weekly rock wind-up. Have a great weekend doing what it is that ever you do. And uh, peace.